Hi guys, welcome to our channel. On this day, we're traveling from Dubai International Airport all the way to London Heathrow. We were transiting via Ankara Essenburger Airport, and here we're just going to drop the vehicle, the rental vehicle. It's, uh, it's around three. It's, it's, quarter, it's quarter past three. Uh, we got like two hours of sleeping. We got like um, a flight to Ankara. It's like about four hours, about, and then we got like a 19-hour layover which is very long. I think that's the longest layover I've ever had, we've ever had. And then we got a three, three hour and a bit flight to the UK. So, it's just long, but I just wanna go home and sleep to be honest. Hopefully we'll, uh, Taff needs a transit visa, but his passport is expiring in five months, but he needs six months, so. I'm gonna try and negotiate for them to get him a transit visa so that we can find somewhere to sleep for those 19 hours because that's that's a long way that's so we arrived today but the flight is the next in carrying thousands of guests safely every day. Have a good time.
dolaplarını açarken ve eşyalarınızı alırken lütfen dikkatli olunuz. Pegasus ailesi olarak bizimle seyahat. From now on, you may use your mobile phone. When you leave the aircraft, please make sure you have taken all your personal belongings and do not forget to hand back the infant life vest to the cabin crew. Please take care when opening overhead lockers. On behalf of the Pegasus family, we would like to thank you for flying with us. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, but I live in Eng Zimbabwe, yes, but I live in the UK. Yes, resident. No, 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 no. What, my wife, my kid, um, British passport. Myself, Zimbabwe passport, but British resident. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So we we're at Water Assemble S and something and we've been here for almost two hours. It's just so disorganized here. The whole transit visa, e visa situation didn't go very well. So now we have to wait here until the flight. It's just ridiculous to be honest. So yeah. That's what's happening in Ankara. I don't like Ankara. I think I prefer Istanbul. It's just so bad here. Right, hi. So, just a little uh, in video edit right here. Just to explain what just happened. So, we couldn't get a visa for TAF at the airport. Uh, we had to get an e visa, but there e-visa system online was just a headache it kept giving an error and it was so annoying so there was literally nothing we could do the reason i'm explaining this in the video is because there's no footage until the time we kind of went to sit to wait for the flight it was just a very difficult situation literally we were just we had to we we went to the lounge but the maximum amount of time you could stay in the lounge was three hours so that wasn't going to do because we were going to be there for the next 16 15, 16 hours, so to speak. We were trying to do the EVs up. It finally worked eventually, like two hours later, but we couldn't pay. It just wouldn't pay. I even tried calling my sister who was in the UK to try to do the payment from the UK, but the system was just wasn't working. We emailed customer service and customer service just like try again later. So that was that. From that time until the time we left, we literally slept on the couches. There were two couches back to back and we just slept there and had food there because there was a cafe right in front of it. But yeah, continue with the video. Bye.
so this is it ladies and gentlemen finally we arrived to our destination it's been a very very long trip but nonetheless we arrived home safely so what i can advise to anybody who's going to be traveling and they've got these long layovers just try and make sure that you process your visa well in advance two days or three days before so that you don't go through the same process we went through which was really 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 annoying Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Later.